Today, I'm gonna talk about milk. What the percent milk you drank says about you, where the percentages come from, and get things straight about the colors of milk. Growing up, I drank between one to five glasses of milk just about every day. My job at dinner every night was to set the table and pour the milk. Water was not a dinner option. I thought that water was something you only got at restaurants and at sports practice. And the kind of milk you drank, I think really says a lot about what kind of family you grew up in. Like if you grew up drinking skim milk, you probably grew up in the 90s and were caught on by like the 90s. That is terrible craze. So you probably had maybe a lot of like yo -Pay yogurt in your fridge or you had a lot of special K. It was kind of like the holy trinity of 90s foods targeted towards women. If you grew up drinking 1% milk, I don't believe you actually exist. 1% milk drinkers are the one percenters of all milk drinkers. No one's drinking 1%. If you grew up drinking 1%, probably pour the milk in before your cereal. 2% is what like everyone drank. If you grew up drinking 2% milk, your social studies teacher was probably also your football coach. Your mom probably went through a phase of exclusively singing the Dixie Chicks while doing the dishes. And then if you grew up drinking whole milk, you grew up on a farm. You're only drinking whole milk if you are 80 years old or if you have been doing hard labor since the moment you could walk. Or if you're my grandma, whole milk's too expensive. You mix up a gallon of powdered milk, which tastes like <laughs> but you add it to the whole milk. There you go, you got two gallons of milk that tastes okay. And that's what you get when you mix Midwestern cheapness with Catholic reproduction. The percentages in milk just mean what percent of the milk is made up of fat. So if this was 100 grams of milk, two grams of it would be fat. And that is fourth grade math. And there's the old myth that like skim milk is terrible because it's just whole milk and they water it down. But it's not watered down. Whole milk, 87% water and between 3.5 to 5% fat. So they're not adding water, they're putting it in a centrifuge and they're taking the fat out. I don't know if the dairy needs to get together and have a meeting, but I think we should decide on the colors of milk. You don't wanna mix up your 2% and your one. Chocolate milk caps are always brown. Which makes sense, it's chocolate milk so you got a brown cap but I don't get the other caps. I know what they mean, but I don't know why they're the colors. Like skim milk is always pink. I don't know if skim is pink because it's not quite whole milk, which is always red. So it's like watered down color. This is just, again, them trying to target women and tell us that we should be drinking skim milk. I can drink whole milk if I want, but I like the taste of skim. And 1% was always green, except for sometimes it's yellow. We bought Kemp's, but we actually didn't, we didn't buy a name brand. So I never got the Kemp's. And then 2% is almost always blue, which I think it just fits. Whole milk is 100% always red. It's never a different color, and that's to show that it is the dominant of all the milks. I think we should just keep it established that these are the colors of milk. Keep it simple. So it's skim is pink, one is green, two is blue, and red is whole. That just makes sense. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Do they get a milk mustache? All those Got Milk campaigns are kind of lying to you. It's hard to get a thick milk mustache. Yeah, I'll take another. We grew up with Got Milk, but what about Got Bush? Get your Bush Light merch at ohhebesha.com.